an armed robbery, man. Richard so, believes you know, he was born into the gang life. Committing crimes, 16, carrying a knife, and owning a gun are things he feels he couldn't resist. I, I, don't, I don't condemn none of them kids. At the age of 16, Richard was jailed for two years after he and other members of his gang were part of an armed robbery. Now, seven years on, he's just parted from the group he grew up with. It's, it's a movie, do you get what I'm trying to say? Especially when, you know, it's, it's heavily going off and everything. You're leaving your house just, just hoping to make it back. But, you know, you also want to make a living. Uh, obviously, yeah, there's those who are out there for the sake of following and, and going along with the crowd, but a lot of people are out there trying to survive and make a living, man. Yeah, 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 but Richard's yeah, story yeah. isn't uncommon. In fact, children right across the country are being exploited to commit crimes. Many of them are groomed to do so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel is now 39 and is still a gang member in South East London. Over the years, he's been stabbed 21 times. One attack was almost fatal. He sees children as young as five being groomed to join in on gang activity. You go down to the hood right now and you see a grown man put crack in a five-year-old's hand. I've seen it. I've done it. And what does he do with, with, with that cocaine? He goes and gives it to the brother that wants to smoke it and gets the money and brings it back. And that's it, man. Buy a man a soft drink. You know what I mean? Some sweets since five years old. The Children's Commissioner says their figures are considerably higher than the government estimates. In a statement, the Home Office said its serious violence strategy was launched to counter gang culture. We are committed to protecting vulnerable children by cracking down on the ruthless gangs that seek to exploit them and by offering them the support and skills they need to lead lives free of violence. But the reality is, on the streets across the UK, youth violence and in particular knife crime is on the rise. And the techniques used by sophisticated gangsters to exploit children have no boundaries. Inzaman Rashid, Sky News.